Just a quick note before we get started, this video is part of our mathematics and statistics module in our FU review course. If you would like access to the complete module right now, as well as other FE review modules, a practice exam, and live Q and A's, make sure to go to the link in the description and go to our FE exam academy. Once you go to the link and join, you'll have access to our full support in passing your FE exam. If you find this video useful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future updates. That being said, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. Hello, welcome to the next segment of the analytic geometry section for the mathematics and statistics module. In this case, we are going to be covering parabolas. So the formulas and equations for parabolas can be found in the FE reference manual on page 43. Um, let me go ahead and show you those. So here they are. As you can see, we're given the standard form for a parabola, which is right here when the H and K are equal to zero. And then we're given how to find the focus and the directrix. We'll, we'll find the focus and the directrix in the last few problems. In this first problem, we just need to find the vertex of the parabola. So as you can see, we have some transformations here. We don't have H and K is equal to zero. So we need to find the vertex and we're going to be doing it in the same way that we were finding the center of a circle in the previous section in the previous video. So if you remember what we were doing, we were basically looking at our standard form that we were given in this case for a parabola, not a circle. And we just take the opposite of what the transformation is indicating, right? So in this case, it's indicating uh, minus one. Well, that means that in this case, the vertex of the parabola is going to be a positive one for the x coordinate, right? Because you can see we have our x over here. For y, it indicates a transformation of plus two. Well, that means our vertex is going to be at negative two in the y coordinate. So that means that our multiple choice option for this one is going to be b. Okay, so moving on to the next question, we once again need to find the vertex for a parabola. As you can see, this one looks a little different than the previous one. The previous one had a uh, y plus two squared equals four times x minus one. If you take a look at this one, the x binomial is the one that's squared. So let me show you what that means here. So if you look at the standard form, when the y binomial is squared, that means that it's a parabola that opens horizontally, okay? If the x binomial is the one that's squared, that means that it's a parabola that opens vertically. So like, let me show you, okay? So this blue one right here, the blue parabola is the one that we had for problem 17. And then this one is the one that we had for problem 18, as you can see, for problem 17, it was with the y binomial squared. This one is for the x binomial squared. It just basically changes and indicates uh, whether it's opening horizontally or whether it's opening up. And then another thing to pay attention to is whatever coefficient the other binomial has indicates if it's going to be opening in a positive direction or a negative direction. So in this case, both of these coefficients are positive. That means that they're going to be opening in the positive x and positive y direction. If I was to just change the signs, that would flip how they're opening. So in this case, they're opening towards the negative x direction and the negative y direction. So that's um, just something to keep in mind. It's not super relevant for these first two problems and we were just finding the vertex, but it will come up in the last couple problems. And it's important to understand that for the FE exam, if you see a parabola, just make sure that you kind of understand everything what's going on. Uh, you could even make yourself a little drawing or just compare what you're seeing to the parabola that's shown on the FE reference manual. But that being said, Let's go back to the problem. In this case, uh, we just need to find the vertex one more time. So again, we're just gonna take the opposite of the transformation. In this case, it's gonna be a negative three in, in the parentheses. So that tells us that our x coordinate for the vertex is positive three. 
and then here we can see that for our y coordinate is going to be negative 1. So in this case, our multiple choice option is going to be C. Okay, so this problem is a little different. We're given an equation for a parabola once again, but this time it's not in standard form. So we need to put it in standard form and we need to identify the vertex um, like we did in the previous problems. So as you can see, we can't identify the vertex if it's not in standard form. So that needs to be the first thing we take care of. So in this case, um, let's just take a look at standard form one more time. So this right here is a standard form of a parabola. I'll just put it here so we can see it while we solve. So I'm just going to rewrite the equation. We have x squared plus 6x minus y minus 7 is equal to 0. Let me show you how to put this in standard form. So if you take a look at the equation, you can see that the x terms are going to be the ones that need to have the binomial squared and then the y terms are going to be the ones that are just in the first degree. So because of that, we can move the y and the 7 to the other side, and we're just going to be left with x squared plus 6x is equal to y plus 7. So now we can complete the square for um, these terms right here in order to turn it into a binomial squared. You can complete the square in the shortcut method that I showed in the previous video. I'll just give like a quick recap right now. So in order to complete the square in the shortcut method, I basically just write this outline because we know we're going to have a binomial squared on the left side. We're going to divide this coefficient here by 2 and that's going to tell us what goes inside the parentheses along with the x. In this case it's positive 3. Then we're going to square this one and we add it to the other side, so plus 9. That's the shortcut method. It just completes the square and gets the equation in standard form really quickly. So now this is going to be our simplification. It's going to be x plus 3 squared is going to be equal to y plus 16. So now it's in standard form. And if we look at what the transformations are, in this case we have a positive 3 here, so that means that our vertex x coordinate is negative 3, and here we have a positive 16, that means that our y coordinate for the vertex is negative 16. So if we take a look at the multiple choice, let's see, it's going to be D. Another quick note, uh, as you can see here, in the standard form, we usually have a coefficient in front of the parentheses that go along with the x and its transformation. Um, for this one, basically that coefficient is just 1. So like in this incorrect answer, for example, it's 4. But for us, it's 1. So we don't, we don't need to write the 1 in there. It just ends up looking like this. Okay, so in the past problem, I showed you how to put a parabola in standard form. In this case, we are moving on and we are going to find the directrix of a parabola. So let me go do the FE reference manual. So as I mentioned earlier, the directrix is a straight line. In this case, it's going to be this one right here, running up and down. And the directrix is located at x equals negative p over 2. Uh, if you look at the standard form we're given for a parabola, it tells us what p is. Let me show you how to find the p over 2. So we can just look at what we're given for our parabola and the standard form of the parabola. If you do that, you'll see that 2p is equal to 12 for our case. That means p is equal to 6. So if we want to find negative p over 2, that is just going to be negative 3 in this case. So the standard form of a parabola like we saw in the FE reference manual, has the directrix at x equals negative p over 2. But that is only when the parabola is located at a vertex of 0, 0. Let me show you once again in the manual. As you can see, the directrix is at x equals negative p over 2 when h and k are both equal to 0. 
we don't have a vertex at zero, zero, we have some transformations. So let's go ahead and find the vertex for our parabola to see what we need to adjust. So our vertex is going to be at two, four, if we look at the transformations in the standard form parabola we're given. So the adjustments we're gonna make is just, instead of our directrix being based off of zero, it's gonna be based off of the x coordinate that we have so to make that adjustment we're just going to do 2 plus what we got for negative p over 2 which was negative 3 and we're going to end up with negative 1 that means our directrix is going to be at x equals negative 1. so that might be a little tricky but let me do a recap of what we did basically we were asked to find the directrix for a parabola so we went to our FE reference manual to remind ourselves what the directrix is. We found out that this is the formula for the directrix, but it only applies when it is centered or has a vertex at zero, zero. And then we just made adjustments based on the parabola we had, which was at two, four. And the adjustment was that we just took into account our X coordinate and then we added the p over 2 which we found here so let's move on to the next one so to get more practice we're going to go ahead and do another problem where we find the directrix um, so in this case for this parabola the vertex is going to be at negative 2 3 as a reminder the directrix is going to be at x equals negative p over 2 and then our P is going to be based off of the standard form, as you can see there. So let's just find what our negative P over two is. In this case, our two P is going to be equal to negative 12. That means that our P is equal to negative six and negative P over two for this case is just gonna be equal to three. So again, if our vertex was at zero, zero, our directrix would just be at negative p over two, but we need to adjust that because our vertex is at negative two, three. So if we account for that x coordinate, we're just gonna do negative two plus three. And in this case, we're going to end up with one. So that means that our directrix is at x equals one. If you take a look at the multiple choice, the answer for this one is going to be a. Moving on to the next problem, this time we are going to find the focus of a parabola. So as we've been doing, we can just find the vertex to start off just to make it easier. In this case, we're gonna be at three, six. So looking back at the FE reference manual, the focus is just going to be basically where this blue dot is. And it's gonna be located at P over two, uh, zero for a parabola that opens in this direction. Again, that is only when h and k are equal to zero, so we're gonna to need to adjust for our specific parabola. So like we saw in the reference manual, the coordinate for the focus should be p over two, zero, if the vertex was at zero, zero. For us, it is not. So we are just going to start off with finding our p over two. In this case, we know that our two p is equal to eight, and we know that p is equal to four. That means that P over two is going to be equal to two. So in order to adjust, we're going to take into account our X coordinate for the vertex. In this case, it's three. So we're just gonna do three plus two, and that's going to put us at five for the X coordinate of our focus. If you take a look at the multiple choice, you might be confused and think it's five zero, but remember the Y coordinate for our vertex was not zero like it is in the case from the FE reference manual. The Y coordinate for ours was six. So that means that after finding our P over two and adjusting for our transformation, our X coordinate was five, but our Y coordinate stays the same. So the focus ends up being at five, six. So therefore the answer is going to be C for this one.
Okay, so let's move on to the last problem for the parabola section. We are just going to practice finding the focus one more time. So again, we'll just start off with finding the vertex just to make things easier. In this case, our vertex is going to be negative one, four. This parabola is different from the one that we saw in the last problem. Let me show you why. So as you can see, this parabola is in standard form, obviously and it is going to be opening to the positive x-axis. It's going to be opening to the right. Basically, it's going to look like the one that is found in the FE reference manual, right? Everything aligns with the standard form that we're given there. As you can see, just take a look there. However, this parabola for our last problem is a little different. So first of all, the binomial squared is the x terms, not the y terms for this one. So that tells us we're going to have a parabola opening either up or down, not to the left or to the right. And then if we look at the coefficient that is on the right side, we'll see that it is negative. So if we combine those two things, we will see that our parabola is going to be opening down. So the reason that's important is because that changes how we find the focus. It's not going to be like we did in the previous problem where we basically just follow along with the FE reference manual. This one has a couple things that you need to take into account, which is what we just did. So in the FE reference manual, we have our focus at P over 2, 0 when the parabola opens to the positive x-axis. In this case, is going to be opening down. So normally when the parabola opens to the right, the focus is at P over to zero. That is what is found in the FE reference manual. So in our case, since we're opening down, our focus is going to be at zero P over two. So let's go ahead and find our P over two. Well, we know that 2p is going to be equal to negative 8. You can look at the reference manual or the previous problems to see where the 2p comes from. Our p is going to be equal to negative 4. And then our p over 2 is going to be equal to negative 2. So here we see what the basic format of the focus needs to be for a parabola opening down. And this is for a parabola with the vertex at zero zero so we make our adjustment like we've been doing in the past couple problems our parabola is not located at zero zero it's at negative one four in this case our adjustment is for the y coordinate not for the x coordinate so we're just going to do four for our y coordinate plus negative two that is going to give us just two so that means that the focus is going to be at negative one, two. So if we take a look at the multiple choice for this one, the answer is going to be D. So this brings us to the end of the segment. In the next segment, we are going to be covering problems on ellipses, and that'll bring us to the end of the analytic geometry part of mathematics and statistics. So make sure you understand how to do these problems, and if you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM and we'll see you in the next segment.